How's it going, everybody? So first of all, I apologize if my microphone makes it sound like I'm transmitting this message from another dimension or something. Uh, I still haven't had time to look into it um, and fix it. Um, I had thought that I had fixed it before, and it had kind of it was working better. But yeah, so just try to just listen to the message and the information, and not worry about how the audio sounds right now, please. Um, so in this video, I want to talk a little bit about my uh, ginseng experiments. Okay, you know, foamy that shit is. That's how you know you got good ginseng. The saponins are bubbling up like soap. So, um, I've been experimenting on and off with uh, American ginseng, really, to be honest, since around 2014, actually. I made a previous video kind of mentioning the history of my ginseng experiments, but um, I, I, I guess I had forgotten or I left out when I really started working with it. Um, I was taking American ginseng extract back in uh, 2014 when I first started to really overcome the anxi my anxiety and other issues I was dealing with at that time. And I was getting into meditation and like uh, overcoming some, I guess, dark parts of my personality, if you want to call it that. Um, American ginseng along with holy basil really helped to balance me out. Um, and that was all the way back in like July of 2014, something like that. Panax ginseng, if you know, if we're being real and accurate here, I mean, I, technically, I've been taking Panax ginseng since I was a child because I used to love those drinks. Um, There's all these different ginseng drinks at the grocery store um, or at the convenience store. I used to always look for the ones that had the most ginseng and uh, that said that they had the most ginseng in them. We don't actually know if they did or not. Um, when I was a kid, I would drink those Sobe drinks and I would drink the, the specific ones that said ginseng on them. And, uh, the, I used to get ginseng candies and all sorts of stuff. And I don't know where the hell I, I got those ginseng candies. Now that I think about it. Cause, uh, as a kid back then, like my parents didn't know much about ginseng. So it wasn't them. Um, all my dad is, you know, he always buys random shit. So who knows? Um, but for me, I just remember having these little ginseng, uh, like, um, sucker candies, right? Um, like Jolly Rancher type candies. And for some, I don't know where they came from, but I was young. I was probably like 11 years old. So, yeah, technically I've been taking ginseng since I was really, really young. And I just remember my mom telling me not to take ginseng because she thought it was going to make me go crazy. Long, long story, but... You know how, how uninformed parents are when it comes to pretty much anything that they haven't actually researched. You know, violent video games, like, oh no, it's going to make you go violent. Or, you know, um, some exotic Chinese herb, like, oh, it's going to freaking make you grow devil horns out of your skull. Like, you know, or like, oh no, we can't let you have a little bit of wine. You're going to get drunk, little Timmy. Like, okay, mom. Okay. Like, didn't you hear about... You know, you take that holy basil, it's going to get you high. Okay, mom. Sure it is. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been taking that shit technically for a long time, right? Um, even like, uh, you know, monster energy drink. These days, you, you really don't know if it has any ginseng in it because it doesn't list the milligram amounts. But when I first started drinking monster energy drink, it literally it said on the can, on the can 200 milligrams. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe energy drinks were regulated by the FDA, but I might be wrong. So, who knows? But, yeah, I mean, technically, I was getting 400 milligrams of ginseng extract every day. And I do remember just always feeling awesome back in those days. And I remember Monster Energy Drink had hit me in a way that others didn't. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Like, the taurine in the energy drinks uh, in the Monster um, makes a huge difference. People who tell you otherwise don't understand the metabolism of taurine. Monster had a whopping, like, 2 grams of taurine per can. That's a lot of taurine. And that's really going to help to balance off a lot of the effects of, um, of, uh, of the caffeine. Because taurine, you know, at least when I was researching it... 
the totality of evidence suggested its effects were mostly due to its um, benefit at um, encouraging the turnover of glutamate into GABA. Um, but now I'm understanding there's a, a wide scope of other benefits and effects on neurology and stress and neurotransmitters um, that have been, you know, brought into prominence over the last like five years or so. Um, anyway, so yeah, um, so fast forward to nowadays, right? Um, I've been taking the actual whole powdered form of, of uh, Panax Shinseng since like March of 2022. So it's been over a year now. But I had stopped for a long period of time because it was too much for me during the times that I was taking it. It just made me too stimulated. Um, since then, I added in some American ginseng uh, pow powder. Okay, These are not extracts. These are dried root powders, right? And um, I've been experimenting with these on and off, um, but I had taken a long break up until recently. So now I, am, I have been taking... Uh, American ginseng and Panax Red ginseng for like pr pretty much every single day now for one entire month now. So it has definitely been four weeks now. Um, and during this time, there's been a little bit of refining and tinkering with the doses and different combinations. So here's what I have learned from this. So first of all, American ginseng definitely has a calming and normalizing effect at least on me um and i tend to be very sensitive to the stimulating effects of different ginsengs uh however you know i'm not one of those weaklings who you know is oh i'm who identifies as sensitive to caffeine because i think tolerance everyone builds a tolerance over time and everybody's body adapts to being less sensitive to caffeine. I think that there's an upregulation in the metabolism of caffeine at the level of the liver. The more that you consume it, the faster your body gets rid of it over time. Um, a lot of people don't think about that, that, ca that metabolism of certain nutrients can be trained, but that's how hormesis works with uh, polyphenols and, and, and plant source alkaloids like caffeine. So... Um, but I, I drink a whole pot of coffee in the morning, so I'm not, like, super sensitive to just stimulants in general, right? Um, anyway. Where was I going with that? Um, yeah, so American ginseng has a normalizing, calming effect. It makes me feel healthy. I feel like I get a kind of, like... Testo like a, a, a testosterone boost kind of like just hear me out because you know how I, I don't like people throwing out these words like dopamine and testosterone when they don't have any real tangible measurable testing right but just hear me out like its effects are kind of like boost in, in, in your sex drive boost in your kind of like motivation and your desire to get things done a boost in a lot of the kind of qualities that people associate with testosterone uh, or with healthy dopamine, really. And that's actually where the evidence lies. There's a lot of evidence that shows there is a protective and uh, balancing effect on dopamine over time. And I would say, a, let's just say a nourishing effect to your dopamine system over time by taking American ginseng. Um, that's the best way I can describe it without getting into reductionist uh, mechanistic terms, um, which I just don't think is beneficial. Um, where, where something like maca root makes you have this really aggressive, um, energy, this aggressive sexuality, aggressive energy, aggressive motivation, and then just like a boost in like anger and aggression as well. This is actually a more calming, boosting, uh, calming boost. It's, it's a lot more subtle. I think a lot of unhealthy humans... Most people who are looking for health hacks on YouTube who, um, you know, they're always looking to boost their testosterone, boost their dopamine, 
they're looking at nootropics and their diet is kind of hit or miss and like, you know, whatever. These, those people probably won't even be able to tell what American ginseng is doing because this is such a healthy and subtle thing. Like the things that pe most of these people need the most are the exact things that they're going to assume are worthless and not doing anything. Most people don't know what it feels like to be healthy. So anyway, yeah. So with American ginseng, calming, stimulating, boosts my focus, my, my brain health. Like I, I remember just a just with the ginseng alone, like my stack is very basic. Um, I was taking a lot of other things before I started this stack because I was uh, competing and and, uh, and I won gold in my jiu-jitsu tournament. After that, I wanted a minimalist stack. So my stack now is real minimalist. It's just uh, 250 milligrams of rhodiola rosea, 3% rosavin extract. Um, about two teaspoons uh, of, of a cordyceps extract. Um, and then I take, uh, I, I, I was taking different doses, but now my stack is two teaspoons of American ginseng powder and a half a teaspoon of Panax red ginseng, six, the six year old root powder. Um, and at first I was just taking a quarter teaspoon of the Panax red ginseng because it's just so powerful. I was scared of taking too much because it can really fuck you up if you take too much, um, to where you just feel crazy. But yeah, um, I'm right now I've kind of settled at half a teaspoon of Panax red ginseng and two teaspoons of American ginseng. So that's pretty minimalist because before I was taking like eight, like, like six to eight different herbs for my competition. Um, and I experimented all sorts of crazy stack. I was taking like 12 to 15 herbs at one point <laughs> just because I was trying really hard to boost my athletic performance. Like I'd mentioned before, most people only need like four herbs at the most. Um, but if you're trying to boost performance for like a really extreme endeavor, like jujitsu or something, then you know, it can help, it can, it can be, it can make sense sometimes to stack a bunch of other shit on. Anyway, uh, so yeah, this for the average person should be enough. Honestly, I feel like I'm going to be taking this minimalist ginseng stack, um, probably for my next tournament because I feel so good. So yeah, a couple things. American ginseng regulates my sleep for sure. Um regulates the mood. I remember I just, when I was just taking the gin, the American ginseng, I would get my day going and just start get, being productive and running errands. I go to the grocery store, grocery store and all this other stuff. For one, I had zero social anxiety, not even a tendency. Like normally I say social anxiety is good. It serves a purpose, but I had no social anxiety. I felt so natural talking to anyone and everyone, which is great. Um, but uh, the big thing is throughout my day, I just found myself feeling so good. And I would keep, I would tell my, I would just out loud be like, damn, like, I feel great right now. What the hell? <laughs> like, <laughs> that would be the, the thing. Um, and, my, you know, planning out my day became this kind of like clear cut, uh, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to do A plus B plus C today. Making plans for the day became very, very clear, very solid, very, um, it became very, very easy for me to structure my day. There was no anxiety for how the day is going to turn out. I would just put the pieces together and execute. Uh, whereas without the American ginseng, it would be kind of like, oh, I don't know if I, should I do this first or that first or whatever else. Um, yeah, life became a lot more of a flow. It got me into a more flow state, actually, and it felt great. So the the thing is with the Panax Red Ginseng, it can have the kind of opposite effect. So for those of you who are more prone to anxiety and other things, and you're not looking for that kick in the ass type of thing, I would leave out a Red Ginseng, to be honest. But for me, because I, I like to feel stimulated a lot of the times, I like to feel up, um, I've kind of found a balance. Uh, American ginseng has a lot more of the calming ginsenocytes, whereas red ginseng has more stimulating ginsenocytes. I kind of have mixed the two together in a certain ratio so that I, I get a good synergizing effect. 
Red ginseng, I think, also seems to offset some of the sleep uh, enhancing qualities of American ginseng. However, I, fa- I found last year when I was taking red ginseng that after a number of weeks of taking it consecutive consecutively at the right doses, it did improve my sleep. So one thing I'll also say is uh, during this time, I had tried adding in ulithero, also known as Siberian ginseng, even though it's not technically a real ginseng. And the ulithero was a mistake. Um, it seemed to have made me, it, it made me pee a lot more when I was taking a decent enough dose. I think at a quarter teaspoon, it's actually pretty good. But when I take more than a quarter teaspoon, I just can't stop peeing. I can't stay hydrated. Um, it's pretty bad. So uh, I had thought that it was the red, gen- the red, the panic ginseng that was doing it. Because, um, you know, people always think that panic ginseng is such a powerful, stimulating thing. But it turns out it was the elithero. So I removed the elithero and I feel way better. I actually, I feel right now, right now, this could change. I feel like the combo that I have right now, the minimalist, just like tiny dose of rhodiola, a pretty good dose of cordyceps with the American ginseng and the Panex Red ginseng, I feel like this is amazing. And I think the only thing that I would change is remove is uh, lowering the dose of red ginseng or removing it on a certain days. Like on days where I'm just like, I feel like I need to just relax, remove the red ginseng. I don't think that it's really burning me out though. I just feel, I just notice it. It does seem to mess with my sleep quality. But on days where you're like, you, you got a lot of shit going on, you got to lift weights, you got to train jiu-jitsu, you got to, you know, sell some sell some packages or like, you know, go into a bunch of business meetings or, or train other, you know, coach other other people, coach some athletes or something and work with a bunch of people. If you're sleep deprived, especially taking some red ginseng on top of the American ginseng is key. Uh, if I'm low on sleep, red ginseng combined with American ginseng is is amazing. Red ginseng especially um, keeps you just it may it completely obliterates the sleep deprivation feeling. So anyway, um, yeah. So that's all I'm gonna say right now. Uh, I do got to get my day going. For those of you who who have been kind of wondering why I'm, you know. Maybe there's a large gap between videos a lot of time. I've just been so busy lately. I've got so much stuff going on, um, you know, obviously outside of YouTube. Uh, it's not that there's no, there's nothing, you know, it's just, yeah. So my inclination to make video, like I'll sit down and record videos, but they don't come out in a way that I feel provides enough value for my subscribers for me to post it. As I've started to gain a following over the years, I've... Uh, cared a lot more about quality. Sometimes I'll just vomit out my thoughts onto a video and then I'll post it and I'll put in the title that it's a rant or something. But when I make videos that just sound like a bunch of ranting and, and, and stuff, they may sound entertaining. Like they may sound, you know, be things that people can laugh at and stuff. But I just, if I don't feel good about the information, I just, whatever, don't want to post it. So yeah, I'll make videos sometimes and then I'm just like, ah, I can't post it. So I should probably make more outlines uh, when I come up with ideas to make the video processing, uh, pro- recording process easier. I don't know. Anyway, leave me leave down in the comments what you think. Um, I'll make more videos about uh, going into detail about this later. If you have any specific questions on anything, but especially in relation to ginseng and my experiments, let me know. And one more thing, so everyone knows, I blend hot coffee with the ginseng to release the saponins. Okay. Um, it's pretty effective even if you just chew on the ginseng roots and it has an acute effect too. It doesn't, you don't have to wait weeks for it to build up, but there's different effects that, that start to show themselves over time. So, but you will get a a short-term effect if you take ginseng uh, in one day. All right. Have a good day y'all.